Hey, this is Holly with Presence Point, and it is New Year's Eve, which is crazy, isn't it? The end of a decade, a second decade in this 21st century, beginning a third decade in the 21st century, which is crazy to even think about. Um, I don't know about your house, but we've got a little bit of Christmas still happening here, a little bit of merry and bright going on, getting ready to just celebrate the new year and then put all those things away for another 10 or 11 months. But um, it's New Year's Eve. It is a reflective time for a lot of us where we look back into this year, this year being 2019 and saying, what was this year like? What were the excitements? What were the tragedies? What were the, what were the um, blessings? What were the joys? What were the defeats? What happened in our year? And then taking a deep breath at midnight or 1201 or even a little before and saying, wow, what's ahead? 2020. The third decade of the 21st century, all of a sudden it's here. For some of us, time has been going by so quickly. But as I thought about this blog, knowing that it was coming on New Year's Eve, because we always post on a Tuesday, I couldn't help but wonder, what does the Holy Spirit really want me to say in this blog? What does the Holy Spirit really want me to communicate to the people who are following the shepherding message? And so um, I give this to you. Romans 15, 13 is where he led me. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. May the God of hope help you abound in hope, in this peace and this joy. And so that's what we wish for you for this coming year. Um, we're not really into resolutions at our house because we tend to resolve things we don't tend to really follow through with, right? Um, so I'm challenging you to not worry about the resolution, but just dwell in this beautiful, abiding love the Father gives us, the hope that he has laid out for us today and tomorrow and in eternity, and that this year, no matter what it holds, would be one where you would shepherd well, would be one where you look to the Good Shepherd with all of your heart, that you parent like you've never parented before that you really um, shepherd laterally to those friends and peers in your life like you never have before. Like the provision, protection, and presence that he gives us just flows through us to the people that we supervise and manage and love and lead. Um, Happy New Year. May joy and peace just abound in your life. And may the hope that the Father gives us fill you for a whole another year. Thanks so much for joining us. May you live deeply into your calling. Bless you all.